Hi, welcome to my latest video. Tonight I'm going to do a very quick video showing fitting of my new air filter. This is a foam air filter. It's an ITG air filter uh, branded with the Empire Tuning logo. Okay, so I bought this from Empire Tuning in Essex. They're the guys that did my remap a couple of years ago and they've now branched out into selling parts. There's a sort of uh, leaflet here with all sorts of parts and things they sell now and they do all sorts of tuning services like remaps and diagnostics and all that kind of thing so if you've not spoken to the guys at Empire find them at one of the shows Gareth is the guy in charge and he really really knows his stuff this is not paid promotion paid full price for this 57 pounds including VAT and delivery ordered that at the weekend and uh, yeah I think it was Saturday, Friday or Saturday and it's now Monday and it arrived this morning so super quick delivery. I've been running the K&N air filter for a couple of years and that is a sort of like a kind of paper element filter it's not quite as flimsy papery as the standard filter but it's a kind of stronger paper and I thought I'd try this one because this is not a paper filter this has got a foam here and it is reusable okay so you, you don't throw it away each year not at 57 pounds a go the standard filters are about 10 to 12 pounds each the knn that i fitted i paid 55 pounds for a couple of years ago it's 57 so very similar price to the knn i've been very happy with the knn it was expensive and i know that in my knn video i kind of concluded by saying "Ooh, it's not really worth it but that's because i was thinking of the performance in a big land rover it really you, you don't fit those kind of things for performance okay this is not a racing car but what you can do is fit them to save money in the long run by not having to buy the disposable kind of air filter twice a year, maybe even three times a year. I was servicing this car every seven and a half thousand miles and I was spending quite a lot of money on normal air filters. And then I put the K&N in, which I can then remove and wash and refit. And this is very similar, okay? So it can be washed out. I don't think it has oil. Uh, the K&N you have to put oil on and there's no oil in the box with this one. Um, although they have given me some air freshness, which is nice. So um, uh, most importantly, a label here. So God forbid I ever took my car to the garage, uh, there's a label saying don't throw the air filter away. Um, I haven't had this car serviced at a garage in about 12 years. I do it all myself, but it's nice to put a sticker on anyway. So yeah, let's get this fitted. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to get my, what's this here, T25 Torx and remove that, unplug the MAF sensor there and take the lid off this. I'll have to put the camera down while I do that. Okay, so I'll take that off, pull out the K&N, which was washed probably about six months ago. Okay, so I probably should have I don't know how often you're meant to wash it really, I guess it depends how dirty it gets, but it'd be interesting to see what state that K&N is in. It's been in the car now for a few years. It's been running very well, but this one might make an improvement. It might be worse, I don't know. I couldn't resist buying it, plugging it in, seeing how it goes. So tomorrow, I'm not gonna go out tonight actually because it's a bit rainy and horrible, but tomorrow I'll pop out and see how this performs and I'll, I'll put up a little bit of kind of dash cam footage hopefully um i won't be able to do a, a true like for like comparison you'd have to really sort of go on a, a rolling road or something to do that but i i will be able to feel if there is a difference okay so i'll let you know if there's any improvement it may just be that this is an alternative to the knn we shall see. Right, I'm going to get it fitted and the next footage you'll see will be me pulling out the K&N, putting this one in and then tomorrow I'll go out for a drive. Okay, so I've moved my air horns out on the quick release bracket. This is the air filter for my Webasto which still isn't working. I will finish that project off sometime but we're getting into the summer now so it's going to I'm sorry to say, have to wait to the autumn when I actually 
start to actually need it um, but not at the moment I've got lots of other things to do on the car in the meantime so right let's have a look, look here now you probably won't have all this silicone pipe work here okay that's my my sort of big idea about kind of replacing that horrible black pans pipes duct thing done lots of videos on that okay so there's a video on the main pipe and there's video lots of videos on the catch can the old catch can and then this one here which is the new catch can okay so if you want to know what that's all about go and have a look at catch can upgrade right let's have a look no it's not too bad okay right let's pull oh, yeah, this is where you do need several hands oh that's yeah, it's pretty grimy. Now, don't forget, the air comes in and up through the filter. So this is engine side. That is outside side. Okay, so there's lots of dead flies and, yeah, just general dirt and muck on there. Okay, so this, if I was sticking with this, is definitely due a bit of a wash I don't know what's going on here as well. There's a bit of wear there as if something's been kind of um, scraping it up. Not sure, a bit strange. But um, yeah, you'd think if something was like a mouse was nesting underneath it, it would be damage on that side. But what would be uh, damaging the top there? There's nothing in there. Um, let's have a quick look. No, there's no mice in there. So, okay, right, I'm gonna get the Empire tuning one now. Yeah, that is pretty filthy, that one. Let's pop this in. Now, first impressions, it's very loose. Okay, not just the air box, I'm talking about the filter there. The, the K and N, you have to kind of like shove it in and it, it's, a, it's a, a tight fit. This one um, could almost, do with being a little bit larger okay so um, I'm sure once it's all clamped down and the lids put back on it will it will hold that tight but the the um, that there's a kind of gutter here okay and that doesn't have a groove in it whereas the K&N you know, interestingly uh, that doesn't either but the K&N definitely seems to kind of sit into that a bit easier okay why is this air box so loose oh i hate these things rocking about okay so let's try to put that lid down right okay i might have to um, stop filming and try and do this let's try that down there yeah yeah it's not really liking that oh there we go there we go right that's down right quickly I'm just gonna lean on that get a screw tightened now the screws on here it's t25 torque they don't come right out okay so you you have to um, just sort of undo them halfway and don't over tighten them because they're into plastic and they will rip the threads really easily Okay, get these done. Get, get these done up. They don't need to be tight at all, literally just holding the plastic lid on. The rubber around the edge of the air filter is what makes the seal, not the lid. Okay, right. Remember the math sensor. Very easy to forget that. Right, okay, that's all a bit more solid now. Let's get the air horns back in. Just start up the engine. 
and just see if it sort of sounds any different really. Oh, I mustn't forget my sticker. Okay, that's uh, pretty clean. Um, let's give that a little wipe. There we go. Right, what does this say? Do not throw away. The Empire air filter uh, fitted to this vehicle is res a serviceable item can be cleaned and reused. Let's visit Empire Tuning Co. UK for more info. Okay, I'll put that web address at the bottom of the screen now. Right now, where's it going to go? Slap bang in the middle. I think there, look at that. There we go. Right, let's get all this stuff. I will. I will open the air filters another day because I've got an air filter in the car already that's quite freshly opened. Yuck. Right, I will keep that separate just in case there's something wrong with this and it has to go back with that. I'll keep the box clean. Just put that one down there for now. Take that. Oh no. Filters, this sticker's coming off already. Oh no, come on. Maybe that needs sort of deep. Oh. Right, can I put it here? Probably needs like degreasing or something before applying that. Right, this, hopefully it will stick a bit better there. It just didn't like sticking to this. This plastic is it's not greasy, it's just rough and it just didn't didn't get a good stick on it. So Right, there we go. Right, let's start up and just pop the, uh, pop the box in here. Okay. Start this up and just see if it sounds any different. starts and runs which is good but I'll need to take it for a drive to uh, see what it's like on the road. Okay well the engine starts and runs, no problem at all. So it seems happy with that. But how will it perform on the road? I will find out tomorrow and I shall put my foot down and see how the new ITG Empire Tuning filter performs. Okay, so I've been running this filter now for a couple of weeks and very impressed with it. The car is running very well. Not really noticed any major performance increase compared to the K&N, but either of these two will give you a performance increase compared to a standard air filter. Now, I did a comparison between the K&N and the standard air filter a couple of years ago okay so I'll put up a thumbnail now to that video if you want to go and watch that one I did some acceleration and some economy testing on the K&N and on a standard air filter the K&N was coming in a couple of seconds quicker 30 to 70 miles an hour in fourth gear so I decided to repeat that test with these two because the the previous video I did where I compared that with the standard was before my remap. Okay, now I did go to Halfords earlier to try and get a standard filter to so compare that with these two as well. Unfortunately, they didn't have any in stock. Okay, so let's exclude the standard air filter from the equation for today. The previous video did show a comparison between that and this. This video, I'm comparing this with this, the KNN 
with the ITG filter from Empire Tuning. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you two video clips. Okay, so the first one is with the K&N air filter fitted. I put this one sort of back in. I washed it, cleaned it thoroughly, okay, to get rid of all the bugs and the grime. Put that back in and did a 30 to 70 mile an hour test. Now, why am I not doing a 0 to 60? Okay, 30 to 70, you can do in fourth gear. So there's no human element. It's literally foot down. When the speedometer reaches 30, you start the clock and you just hold the foot down all the way up to 70 and you stop the clock. Okay, so there's no gear changes, no clutch, no, no sort of human manual intervention to sort of skew the, the timings and that. Okay, so it is purely the car accelerating on its own okay with me just steering and the results were interesting okay so I'll play the clips now and you can see the difference in performance between this one and this one So as you can see, there really isn't much in it, okay? So this one here was slightly, slightly slower. That might be because it's a couple of years old. I had cleaned it thoroughly, but the difference in the 30 to 70 mile an hour time was under half a second, okay? So really uh, kind of shows that these are pretty evenly matched. The airflow through them is 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 very similar and, and is, is, is very good airflow okay so it was really just down to the the rest of the car and the engine to kind of do that acceleration there was no sort of restriction really on on the the air filter now standard filter would have actually taken a couple of seconds more and i have shown that in the previous video so there we go take your pick empire tuning itg or k and n similar price similar performance this one you have to oil both of them you can wash. This one apparently becomes sort of pre-oiled, although I do have a question really on if you wash it, what do you then do? Do you need to reapply the oil? Not sure. Didn't say in any instructions inside. And talking of things inside the box, Gareth, you need to put more glue on your sticker. Okay, so that is really not sticking. Um, but uh, apart from that minor, minor, tiny little criticism, I think this is a brilliant filter. They're both good and really that there's just not not much to, to differentiate between them. I like the way that this one's got the, the, the wire mesh there. I have seen uh, I've seen many standard filters completely destroy themselves when they get damp and, and, and suck bits of paper and that into the engine. This one won't do that, although uh, yeah, I have seen sort of these these do suffer from from the wet a bit as well. This one being a sort of foam, I, I I don't know quite what would happen if it got damp. It would probably just act like a sponge and sort of suck up the water. I don't know, but uh, uh, I don't wish to try that really. Um, so this this wire here, of course, when that sat in there, the air is flowing upwards. This wire would help to kind of hold that in place if there was ever any issue with it sort of getting damp and trying to kind of um, 
suck the filter into the engine, uh, that would hold it there and prevent that from happening, which is quite a nice feature. I'm hoping this is stainless wire here. It hasn't gone rusty yet. Uh, it looks like stainless wire. So that's quite a nice touch, and, and I like the way that the Empire guys have got the aerosol can out and sort of sprayed their logo onto that. So, um, yeah, there you go. There you go. Not much in it. Take your pick. Very, very similar air filters, okay? If you're running either of these filters, leave a comment below. Let me know how you get on with these. And, uh, yeah, if you fancy one of the Empire Tuning ones, go to Empire Tuning uh, com or co UK. I can't remember what it is. I will put the URL at the bottom of the screen now. Now, you're probably wondering which one I'm going to refit to the car. Well, I'm going to stick with this one. I'm very pleased with that. This one's starting to, to wear. It's, it's, it's had a hard life. Uh, over the last few years so that will be going sort of uh, probably in the bin or just sort of keep it as a spare uh, should something terrible happen to this one so this will be going back in and that will be it for today I hope that video was useful don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video thank you bye